Yeah. So, Laura Dern, uh, I think everyone was curious about who you're going to play in Twin Peaks. What did David Lynch tell you when he first uh, offered you, when he first said to you, hey, come along and uh, do this with me? Basically, that he couldn't tell me anything, even what it was, but there was something he was cooking up and I was going to be part of it. And I don't say no. <laughs> so I just said, okay, great. Tell me when to show up. Um, and then when he did tell me that it was Diane um, and what he, she meant to him, but also what she means to Cooper, uh, you know, it was a, a blessing and it was a dream and it was sordid and complicated and elusive and angry and tough and and delicate and all the things you would want to dream up in a character. I mean, she is two sides of one story, or many stories. It's, it's, we, we don't know the answer to in David's world. Well, your working relationship with David Lynch has gone back to the very beginning of your career. Uh, with uh, my favorite movie, Green Velvet. Um, what is that relationship like, film after film after film, and then into, into this? It's incredible, as I think Kyle will say as well. You know, there, there's no uh, language necessary. Uh, I think for Kyle and David, as well as for myself and David, we are just have this blessing now of, you know, getting it down to looks to know what he what he wants from you, and that's just an amazing experience. And it's just the most beautiful friendship uh, imaginable. Last thing I wanted to ask you, um, I know a lot of people were left scratching their heads by the finale. When you first read it, when you first saw it, what did it mean to you? What, uh, what is your interpretation? Well, I would say when I first saw it, because I only read what I was involved in, so it was all a mystery to me. And um, just as David would never want to answer that, I think I shouldn't because I can only project my experience of it. And the whole world has meant something so deep to me. I mean, I remember when Kyle and I were sitting with David watching Blue Velvet in, at the Telluride Film Festival at our first time seeing it with an audience. And we were laughing at moments that people were outraged and standing up and uncomfortable. And then they would be laughing when we were crying. Like, you know, it's, it's, David brings up so much for so many of us, and it's a completely different experience, and that's what's beautiful about a great visionary. Well, thank you so much. 